the warmer weather, you're going to see a lot more construction zones popping up on our state's roads and highways. If you travel I-69, 465, you'll see it there. Yesterday, it kicked off the start of Work Safe Zone Safety Awareness Week. It is meant to not only encourage all of us to drive safely, but to draw special attention to our construction workers putting their lives on the line every day. Joining me live this morning to talk more about it, Mallory Duncan with the Indiana Department of Transportation and Richard Hedgecock, the president of Indiana Constructors, Inc., talking more about this. Richard, I want to start with you because tomorrow is Go Orange Day. Tell me the significance, and you even have it in your sweater <laughs> as well as your shirt. <laughs> Good morning. Thanks, good, thanks for having us. Yeah. Indiana Constructors, Inc., we're the statewide trade association for the heavy highway civil construction industry, and this is a big week for us, obviously. Uh, working in, in the zones that we are in, uh, it's work that we love. It's things that's positive for the state of Indiana, uh, but we have an agreement with the traveling public right. that uh, we're doing these things for you. We ask that you respect our workplace when you come into it. And that's so important. And Mallory, speaking of that, how many people were killed in Indiana last year in construction zones? Yeah, so there were five people. Um, on five too many. Yeah, One pretty much many. so. One yeah. is too many. Um, and it's just getting you know the word out there that this is this is not just a week for us. This yeah. is not just a week for the construction workers. This is a week um, to remind everyone to be safe in work zones. Um, you know, on national average, four out of five fatal crashes in construction zones mm -hmm. are the driver and passengers that are going through the zone. Um, so this is as much about, you know, the motoring public as it is about all of us on the side of the road. Right. Richard, what's the biggest reason here for construction zone crashes? Speed. Speed kills. In crashes on highways, 30% of, of crashes, speed is a contributing factor to any crash. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about fatal crashes. Fatal crashes, speed is the single leading factor of people dying in wrecks more than drug use, alcohol use, medication misuse, distracted driving combined. Combined, speed is the leading factor of why people die. So we can't outlaw crashes. Right. Crashes aren't going to stop. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But we can stop people from dying. And one thing that I, I notice on my way driving in the construction zones, I do see a number of Indiana State Police officers who are in these zones with their lights on, just to letting people know they are there watching you too. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mallory, I want to mention also something here. What are some efforts NDOT is making to keep Hoosiers safe on the roads today? Yeah, so we're we're being very innovative. We have lots of great partnerships um, with lots of different organizations and a couple different things, you know, we are alerting drivers um, as a partnership with Haas Alerts. Right. And, and that is a little like system right. that is inside, you know, our Q trucks, it's inside um, some police vehicles on the side of the road and that will alert drivers that there's a work zone coming up right inside their vehicle. That's so important. Yeah. And Richard, very quickly, because I have less yep. than 15 seconds, what is your message to drivers out there if they're listening put down the phone slow down watch out for our people because that's how you're going to save your own life all right richard hedgecock and mallory duncan both appreciate you coming on very important topic i'm going to see if i have an orange tie and i will wear it tomorrow thank right. you thank you yes. for coming on i can loan you one all right <laughs> we'll